two more weeks of lockdown, so which means two more weeks of webinars. No, I, I, I think it's, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be like time that we guys settle down with this so that we don't forget it. Yeah, true. I think we still <laughs> need some time that we, as, as soon as things starting start to get normal, you know, people, people believe in saying that you know it will get, get back to normal. I say it'll end up at a new normal. Yeah, it's, it's new important normal. for all of us to remember these learnings. Do Absolutely. more of these than what we were doing earlier. Very true. Very true. So how much time do you we have, Farida? I think in the next a minute we'll begin, ma'am, because it's 4.30 now. Perfect. Perfect. Let's do that. And I have already shared the questions with all these gentlemen. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so uh, Neeraj and I just had one session yesterday, so we are quite comfortable. And <laughs> uh, uh, the rest I will ensure that you all are comfortable. Okay, so I think I'll begin, ma'am, with your permission. Yes, yes. yes please. Uh, so, so uh, very good, good afternoon. Yes, Mr. Chandir. Chandir. Yes, you had to say something? I was saying Neeraj is more comfortable. So start with Neeraj so that uh, the comfort level starts at a, at a higher peak. I will do that. I will do that. Don't worry. <laughs> yes, Farida, go ahead. Yes. Uh, so good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I am Farida Lokhanwala, and uh, on behalf of Kodar Jumbo Kids, I welcome all the panelists and the viewers for today's webinar, which is a, which is a panel discussion for parents on cultivating reading habits uh, for during this lockdown and beyond. So it's going to be uh, in, impactful. Um, I'm sure it's going to be an impactful discussion for a lot of takeaway for parents today. Uh, so I begin with first introducing the eminent uh, panelist for today's webinar. I begin with uh, none other than Dr. Swadhi Popat Watts. Uh, she is the founder director of uh, Podar Jumbo Kids, president of Podar Education Network, president of Early Childhood Association, as well uh, Association for Primary and um, Primary Research, uh, Primary Education and Research, which is APA. Uh, so welcome Swati ma'am. She's the moderator for the panel discussion today. It's going to be highly impactful. And, uh, you know, uh, then we have uh, Mr. Neera Jain. He's the managing director for Scholastic uh, India. So welcome Mr. Neeraj. We have with us Mr. Manish uh, Doshi. He's the business head and senior vice president sales and marketing education for Cambridge University Press India Private Limited. Welcome, Mr. Manish. And uh, we also have with us Mr. Chandar Murjani, who is the director Thank of sales at Square Panda, a Silicon Valley company. So with this, uh, I request Swati ma'am to please begin the webinar. Thank you. Thank you so much, Farida, Thank for you. that lovely introduction. And uh, uh, I welcome everybody on behalf of Podar Jumbo Kids and the Early Childhood Association. Uh, we are partners for this particular webinar. And as you can see that I have invited three uh, gentlemen who are associated with reading. Uh, their companies are uh, very, very well-established companies who are contributing to education in a great way. And uh, they are my three favorite companies, but not only because they are members of the Early Childhood Association, but because they take quality quite seriously. Uh, I know that uh, Cambridge got its books uh, recently uh, uh, quality audited by ECA, and so did Square Panda. Uh, so um, uh, Neeraj is already a corporate member and uh, a big, big, big support to ECA. So that's why I love their companies and I am a great admirer of the work that they do. I always say that if you want quality products in your school, you should go to companies that stand for quality and not just for uh, making money. And that's what these three stand for. And that's why we invited them for this panel discussion on reading, which is such an important topic for parents, especially during the lockdown where children are, uh, uh, playing games, they are learning life skills, uh, but somewhere parents are confused about how to promote reading skills in children. So Neeraj, I'm going to start with you. My first question is a very simple question to all three of you. Uh, tell us about your company and the products that you have. So Neeraj, let's start with you. 
so good evening everybody uh, you know we are, I, i represent scholastic and uh, scholastic is a 100 year old company in 1920 when we were set up we were set up with an objective of helping teachers to deliver the objectives that they are supposed to deliver in the classroom uh, with that idea in mind our founder chairman started off with classroom magazines then we we noticed very quickly that you know the biggest pain point for teachers in the school was reading habit and then we started working alongside schools on reading habit now uh, that's where we we started our programs people feel that we are the world's largest children book publishers and hence we promote reading no it's the other way around we promoted reading and that's why we have become the world's largest children book publisher because you know of all the publishing companies the only one company which is connected to the consumers is scholastic because we conduct these reading habits through schools we've got a lot of products around reading uh book flicks for an early age group mm -hmm. uh, literary library in the digital atmosphere for uh, the uh, age group beyond that so so you know all in all we've got various products both in physical and digital space which can promote reading but i think one of the most important things that we've done so far is the kids and family reading report which we were doing in us and then we did about 2 years back we did 3 years back we did it in india and the findings of those are i think one of the most helpful things for the parents to consider if they want their kids to become readers i can elaborate on it i as swati knows me uh, you know when it comes to reading i can go on and on you know the whole r might seem less but uh, i i'll stop at this point i am willing to share uh, findings of uh, kfrr which would be very useful for the parents to know uh, and anything else that uh, that you feel uh, i should be sharing swati and probably definitely. that's definitely. good enough for the introduction absolutely absolutely i know scholastic because uh, 33 years back when i became a teacher i used to use a lot of scholastic stories uh, as part of my lesson plans uh, and i found them very nice because not only about their illustration their language and they were very very clear about uh, gender sensitivity and other uh, things also so i have i have always been a fan of scholastic books uh, i come to chandar now chandar yours is a potentially quite a new company uh but uh, your recent product square tales i had a look at it uh, because it was quality audited by us and it was a very impressive tool it is something that parents can use at home with children to uh, work on their skills so can you tell us a little bit about that product yeah so uh, swati ji uh, and all the participants a very good evening to all of you uh, uh, we invite you to the panel around 700 people on the screen now uh, Square Tales is one of the most unique products. I think in the last twelve or thirteen years of my work with the industry, with schools across the country, and every year uh, we always feel sad when the Asar report comes. Right? Somebody says Asar, somebody says Asar. Actually, the people who have made it say is Asar in Hindi. Right? It is Asar, the impact. Right? But when people in English read it, Asar. So they have been lamenting with the PISA report, with the Asar report that. children of grade 5 are not able to read children of grade 6 able are not to read. so now the fundamental uh, thing is children are not able to read and if a child is not able to read nobody can help out the child to give answers in a very elaborate way in, a, in his own words so square tales is perhaps the most unique product which has been launched anywhere i would say and uh, why i would say is we have seen impact with children not only of good schools but with also economically weaker sections where they have not seen devices where they have not used any kind of an intervention and the children were able to read over a short period of intervention from us so that's why squatels is something unique and it is for the early readers right for the child who is not yet understood the phonological sounds he is not able to identify letters at that initial stage squatels makes the child an independent reader so that's where our research lies and i would i'm happy to inform you we are 100 plus strong tech team now in mumbai so wow. we we wait for all the panelists to visit our offices uh, i just saw a comment from a parent i think that koi hindi mein boliye so we will try to make this panel in english because we have a lot of parents from around the country who have joined us uh first uh, i would like to thank chandar ji for giving his platform to us because this zoom platform is his and uh, uh 
ये एक बहुत ही सही बात आपने कही चंद्र जी के अर्ली uh, चाइल्डहुड का रीडिंग जो है उस पर ध्यान नहीं दिया जा रहा है यू नो वेन बी सॉ गूगल बोलो दैट वॉज माई फर्स्ट फीडबैक टू देम that google bolo is starting with straight sentences what about letter recognition what about sound phonics etc aapko agar ye har ghar ghar mein pahunchana hai to bachcho ki reading actually early years se shuru hogi kyunki jaise aapne kaha asar report is always lamenting the fact that children in third standard also cannot read whereas the reading window as far as montessori says starts in the early years so it is very important that the foundation should start in the early years and that's why i was very happy to see your product which is square tales because it starts from the basics and it's a very good product for parents and for parents of jumbo kids who are listening to us um, we will tell you how to get you uh, these products but we have also included them in our online learning which we have uh, de uh, designed for your children i now go to uh, mr manish uh manish you represent a very very uh, elite uh, uh university which is cambridge uh when people hear the name cambridge itself they know it stands for learning and education so tell us something about your company and its product for early child yeah so first of all let me begin with uh, thanking uh, eca and a special thanks to you dr uh, swati for Thank giving this opportunity so for for uh, the people the parents who are relatively no new uh, it's my duty to share like cambridge university press is one of the world's oldest uh, publishing house and uh, it's it's like uh, a matter of privilege for me also to be associated with cambridge for last uh, more than a decade uh, we at cambridge university press are driven by a simple imperative to work alongside educators and learners to provide individuals with accessible inspirational learning resources that lead them to a lifetime of achievement uh, for us uh, academic rigor innovative thinking and leading edge practices are crucial aspects of delivering the excellent fully rounded uh, education that the 21st century learner actually demands we also focus on holistic way when it comes to languages uh, even reading Uh, lsrw all the four skills are are taken uh, care of so i also hear from few of the parents uh, who who have requested to have it in hindi as well uh has have we lost manish ji's uh, video seems like that yeah he's back yeah he's back yeah i i think some technology some issue so we i i'll also try to make keeping in mind the messages from the parents which nahi aap aap worry mat kijiye manish ji i'm noting them down so they will become part of the questions that i'll ask wonderful wonderful so you would prefer in uh, uh, hindi english mix or uh, it, uh, english i should continue with english english bhi chalega stuck again yeah i think his video is stuck again yeah so i'll go to you neeraj after uh, uh, then i'll come back to him once his video comes back on uh, neeraj they, you have given some online learning which is right now free for schools yes uh, can you tell us uh, uh, what is that called so uh, so there are a couple of uh, programs which you've done free uh, one of the prime ones being uh, sunshine primary uh, club uh, which has got a lot of uh, uh, books uh, which are विच आई वुड से बिल्कुल अप्रोप्रिएट है अर्ली चाइल्डहुड के हिसाब से सो दे स्टार्ट फ्रॉम एक्चुअली दो होल थिंग लेटर रिकोगशन एंड देन स्टोरीज विच आर विच विच आर वेरी सिंपल नॉट गोइंग इन टू फुल सेंटेंसेज छोटी छोटी स्टोरीज हैं एंड एंड बिल्कुल एक बैंड फॉलो करती है एक रीडिंग लेवल फॉलो करती है सो दैट इट कैन बी टेकन अप अकॉर्डिंग टू दीड रीडिंग लेवल ऑफ द चाइल्ड जैसे जैसे ले, लेवल बढ़ेगी वैसे वैसे इस्तेमाल हो सकती है मुझे वो और... जो किट है वो बहुत अच्छा लगा बिकॉज एज यू सेट शॉर्ट शॉर्ट स्टोरीज है उसमें yes. और ये जो अर्ली uh, चाइल्डहुड में जो पेरेंट्स सिखाना चाहते हैं रीडिंग स्पेशली इंग्लिश रीडिंग बिकॉज सी वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड कि हमारी कंट्री में जो पेरेंट्स है काफी फैमिलीज uh, में वो फर्स्ट जेनरेशन इंग्लिश लर्नर्स है उनके पहले किसी ने इंग्लिश सीखा नहीं है और ऐसे भी काफी पेरेंट्स हैं जिनके बच्चे अब इंग्लिश स्कूल में जा रहे हैं और वो बच्चे फर्स्ट जेनरेशन इंग्लिश लर्नर्स हैं और पेरेंट्स ने खुद ने इंग्लिश कभी सीखी नहीं, नहीं है 
बिल्कुल इसलिए मुझे ये प्रोडक्ट जो आपका है वो सनशाइन रीडिंग वो बहुत अच्छा लगता है कि इट डज नॉट मेक द पेरेंट फील ओ माई गॉड दिस इज सो डिफिकल्ट Exactly. And that's why we have also included it in our online learning. And uh, uh, since we have Mr. Manish back, Mr. Manish, आपका एक product है early childhood में वो कौन सा है? So, हमारे uh, पास actually तीन products हैं. But uh, एक अभी जो recent product आया है, which is picking up very well, and uh, we are getting a very good response from uh, parents and the schools. Uh, that is Cambridge Reading Adventures. uh the main usp is uh, the first thing is it is branded by the institute of education uk jo world ki one of the leading uh, institute of primary education mein uh usme we have different bands and it is not graded it is basically guided and uh, 144 titles are there jisme se 24 title are most appropriate or relevant for early childhood usme 18 jo hai wo uh, non fiction hai और अठारह फिक्शन है एंड छह आर नॉन फिक्शन सो ट्वेंटी फोर आर मोस्ट अप्रोप्रिएट फॉर अर्ली चाइल्ड हुड रीडिंग वंडरफुल चंदर जी विच इज योर प्रोडक्ट एंड हाउ इज इट अवेलेबल राइट नाउ टू पेरेंट्स एंड स्कूल्स Mean, with your permission, I just want to add one little thing to what you said about the first generation learner, right? Uh, I uh, I come from a family where we uh, my mom was also not literate in english she was from a sindhi medium school and maybe cleared her diploma in shala that's swing was the thing which she has learned but one thing happened with her as i my elder brother was being taught in the school my mom also picked up and by the time i came to school she could teach me right so if a parent has not learned but the parent can also simultaneously learn as the siblings are learning and maybe help out the second right so the effort has to be there uh, so that's the first thing now coming about the product which we have created see uh, everything is a story today i was just flashing through that ramayan has got world's the highest viewership right that's yeah. also a story the reference point is different but a story it's it's after all a story right so every story has got an interest into it every child wants to interest interestingly learn a story so we in square tales have created short short stories which might be two line three line stories and the complexity of the stories keep on increasing as the child keeps on progressing now the other aspect where we differ with the world is uh, the parents feel ke mere bacche ko sare letters aa jaye tab main use reading sikhaunga right so we in square tales have brought in a most unique part that you just teach smap tfi and only eight letters and my story is built in only in this eight letters and the child can start reading so that's right. the most unique part of it so you don't have to because the child at that age might not remember all the 26 letters so here we have brought in a new thing the other aspect is we are touching the sensory parts the child is listening the child has got some activity on the screen to do right so that's another aspect with the child children like to do some activities a touch is very important for a small child so there is a small uh, blending engine inserted into the system so these are the unique things which we have incorporated so the child is seeing things then the graphics are moving on the screen he is listening he is doing some activities so we are building up as many multi sensory activities as possible so that it is engaging and the most important thing i would just like to stress for a parent who one is highly educated and doesn't have a time maybe i am one of them my daughter reads grade 12 i never remembered her section neeraj i am absolutely 180 degree to what you are right <laughs> so you very attentively yesterday but it happens you are into a different frame of mind i said you become independent so that's how the things were yeah so the one the parent who are highly educated but they do not have a time and the second set of parent are equally in that category where the parent has not educated and do not have time in both the cases squatters makes a child independent reader and he doesn't need an external support to operate the system so that's the difference okay, okay. so i'm going to uh, start a uh, few relevant questions to each one of you and i suggest because you all have uh, piqued the interest of the listeners with your examples that you all have given so while the other person is talking if you can type in a link to your product so the listeners can then access those products but my question i'm going to now ask each one of you a different question 
Neeraj, my question to you is going to be at what age should children read and what is the importance of reading? Mr. Manish, you mentioned something very important which not many parents are aware of, LSRW. So if you can uh, uh, focus on that in your answer. And Chandarji, uh, people are asking about this eight letter story. Agar aap uska ek example de sa de sake. So I'm going to go to Manish first. And before I go, I would like to tell the listeners that when we talk about the alphabet, we call the whole family of the alphabet and we call the letter. Kehte hain, which is very interchangeably used by a lot of educators and parents. They say eight alphabet. Alphabet eight is not eight. The letters of the family of the alphabet is called alphabet. Or Hareko, all 26 are called letters. Even Amita Bachchan had made a mistake in Kaun Banega Karodpati when he referred to letters as alphabet because this is a misconception that a lot of people have. And educators, ko especially, this misconception nikal lena chahiye, ke they are letters, and all the family of letters is called the alphabet, the English alphabet. So, Neeraj, coming to you, at what age should children read? And why is reading important? So, so can I take a, a little bit of step back and say that, you know, uh, reading would come in, but before reading is a very important stage. This is a stage of read aloud. reader essential cheese read aloud. Agar hum unko तो उनका जो रीडिंग में इंटरेस्ट है वो डेवलप हो जाएगा और अगर वो डेवलप होगा तो वो आगे रीडर भी बन जाएंगे तो मैं हमेशा सबको यही सलाह देता हूं कि सबसे पहले रीड अलाउड करें और ये सिर्फ सलाह नहीं देता मैं मैंने अपनी बेटी के लिए रीड अलाउड शुरू किया था 9 महीने की जब वो थी एंड नाउ शी इज एन एवरेज रीडर आई वाज नॉट एन एवरेज रीडर एज अ चाइल्ड बिकॉज़ मुझे स्कॉलास्टिक के रिसर्च पता थे तो मैंने उन रिसर्च को अप्लाई किया अपनी बेटी में और और मैंने ये सारे चेंजेस देखे so I would right. always say read aloud is very important. Uh, Swati, you mentioned about the illustrations and all those things. I yes. think that's very important thing for parents to understand that one book is not only one book that is kept. One book has illustrations and the whole story is only illustrations. When the child can't read, he can understand the story from the illustrations. And he can understand your language. Reading is not an age. Those children who read aloud वो शायद दो तीन साल की उम्र से जोड़ जोड़ के अक्षरों को और पढ़ना शुरू कर देते हैं। Obviously independent reader बनने में टाइम लगता है, but एक किताबों का exposure होना, read aloud होना और parents को पढ़ते हुए देखना ये तीन चीजें बहुत जरूरी है reading habit के लिए। उसके अलावा एक और चीज जो बहुत जरूरी है reading habit के लिए वो है choice of books। अगर हम किताब चुनने की आजादी बच्चे को देंगे तो वो ज्यादा चांसेस है कि वो पढ़ेंगे और वो अगर हमें पढ़ते देखेंगे तो भी ज्यादा चांसेस है कि वो पढ़ेंगे हम टीवी देखें और उनको बोलें किताब पढ़े तो वो शायद नहीं पढ़े तो ये एक है इंपॉर्टेंट क्यों है इंपॉर्टेंट इसलिए है क्योंकि हम लोग सब समझते हैं कि शायद अभी पढ़ाई कर लेते हैं एकेडमिक सक्सेस पे फोकस कर लेते हैं रीडिंग बाद में कर लेंगे रीडिंग हार्ट पे बैठी है लैंग्वेज के अगर रीडिंग है तो पूरी लैंग्वेज डेवलपमेंट है स्लाइड बिट ऑफ आई हैव टू बोरो फ्रॉम सॉरी मनीष हम लोग सब फोकस करते हैं लिसनिंग स्पीकिंग रीडिंग राइटिंग एलएसआरडब्ल्यू पे बट अगर रीडिंग रीडिंग होगी हां रीडिंग होगी तो वो सारे अपने आप डेवलप हो जाएंगे मेरा कहने का मकसद ये था राइट सो रीडिंग के ऊपर अगर हम फोकस करेंगे तो वो सब अपने आप हो जाएगा एक आंसर जो वो बच्चा लिखता है जो किताब पढ़ता है वो बहुत ज्यादा शब्दों में भी फर्क होता है और आ, लिखाई में भी फर्क होता है और उसमें जितना वो आ, संक्षेप में ना रखे और लंबे तो लंबे शब्दों में आंसर कर सकता है वो भी फर्क होता है और जो बच्चा नहीं पढ़ता वो शायद टू दी पॉइंट दो लाइन का आंसर लिखता है जैसे मैं बचपन में लिखता था क्योंकि मैं पढ़ता नहीं था सो so, हर चीज में फर्क आ जाता है और दूसरी इंपॉर्टेंट चीज जो हमें ध्यान रखनी है रीडिंग इसलिए इंपॉर्टेंट है क्योंकि हर हर सब्जेक्ट का मीडियम ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन लैंग्वेज है जब हमारा लैंग्वेज पे होल्ड बढ़िया होगा तो जो बच्चों को हम सोचते हैं मैथ्स में कमजोर हैं या साइंस में कमजोर हैं वो मैथ्स और साइंस में कमजोर नहीं होते वो मैथ्स और साइंस की भाषा में कमजोर होते हैं और भाषा 
के लिए रीडिंग बहुत जरूरी है Uh, अगर आप देखें तो हमारी संस्कृति में बच्चों को जब uh, बच्चे होते हैं तब हम कहानियां सुनाते हैं कहानियां तो सुनाते, सुनाते हैं हम हम कहानियां इसलिए सुनाते हैं क्योंकि उससे भाषा सीखता है बच्चा तो आजकल वो नेचुरली बिकॉज ये सेकंड लैंग्वेज है तो इसलिए रीड अलाउड हो आ, बोलते हैं जब आप आप मराठी बच्चे को इंग्लिश सिखाने की कोशिश करते हो तो रीड अलाउड से शुरू होता है सो दिस इज सो इम्पोर्टेंट कि आपने जो पॉइंट कहे की एक तो इलास्ट्रेशन होते हैं रीड अलाउड कीजिए जो बच्चा रीडिंग जानता है वो नेचुरली उसकी वोकेबलरी ज्यादा होती है तो वो नेचुरली अच्छा एक स्पीच भी दे पाएगा अच्छी तरह लोगों से बात भी कर पाएगा और सीमित नहीं रहेगा कि मेरे पास बस इतने ही शब्द हैं बिकॉज रीडिंग हैज एनलार्ज हिज वोकेबलरी एंड दैट्स वाई रीडिंग इज सो इम्पोर्टेंट इन सो मेनी वेज यू नो एंड आई एम कमिंग टू मिस्टर मनीष नाउ Uh, Mr. Manish, not many schools and not many parents know about LSRW. They mainly first go to W. Parents को भी चाहिए कि बच्चा जैसे ही पैदा हो लिखना चाहिए, लिखना आना चाहिए बच्चों को. So they go W. फिर आते हैं reading पे, फिर आते हैं speaking पे और फिर आते हैं listening पे. तो ये उल्टा करते हैं काफी स्कूल्स मैंने देखा है दो बार दो साल के बच्चों को राइटिंग कराते हैं और बहुत खुश अपने आप को बहुत अच्छे समझते हैं पेरेंट्स है काफी स्कूल्स के जो बोलते हैं कि मेरा दो साल का बच्चा लिखता क्यों नहीं है सो दे डोंट अंडरस्टैंड द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ लर्निंग अ लैंग्वेज इन द सीक्वेंस ऑफ एल एस आर डब्ल्यू सो कैन यू प्लीज इलेबोरेट ऑन दैट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वाई वी नीड रीडिंग Uh, I would go to that. It's not like कि किताब है एक चैप्टर पढ़ लिया और मे बी एक पोएम पढ़ ली वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट्स द फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट ऑफ इट नंबर टू इज वोकेबलरी इससे बिल्ट होगा नंबर थ्री इज प्रोनाउंसिएशन जो है आई आई कंप्लीटली अग्री विद नीरज एंड चंदर एस्पेशली चंदर वेन ही रेफर्ड कि उनके उनकी बैकग्राउंड और उनका जब उन्होंने बताया तो द थिंग इज इंडिया इज हैविंग मल्टीपल लैंग्वेजेस and in that multiple languages that segment is the most important factor what comes or impacts us all of us is mti jo main hamesha kehta hu mother tongue influence uh, you can easily make it out ki ye south se hai ya ye kahan se hai in case if there is a neutral accent which will only come by reading and reading to the science is also proved कि अगर अर्ली इयर्स से agar humne reading start kiya bachcho ko aur wo bachcho ko seedha dena nahi hai uh, Unless until you get engaged, हमने नहीं सीखा होगा हमारे अर्ली ईयर्स में लेकिन नाउ इज द टाइम वेर वी हैव टू गेट आर सेल्फ एंगेज विद किड्स मे बी एक टाइम स्लॉट इट कैन बिगिन विद स्टोरी बुक्स इट कैन बिगिन विद न्यूज पेपर और मे बी समथिंग फॉर पेरेंट्स इट्स ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट टू माई बेस्ट इज टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट द बुक्स वॉट दे गिव और मटीरियल वॉट दे गिव इट हैज टू बी मॉर पिक्टोरियल वेन इट कम्स टू अर्ली चाइल्ड हुड द फॉन्ट्स ऑल्सो मैटर क्योंकि बच्चों को उसके अंदर दिलचस्पी आनी चाहिए वंस दे गेट यूज टू इट देन देर वॉकेबलरी एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज देर थिंकिंग स्किल्स विल इंक्रीज वरना बच्चे जो रोड लर्निंग में जाते हैं इनके सिर्फ दे नो द वर्ड्स इफ दे नो द प्रॉपर काइंड ऑफ वॉकेबलरी अदर अदर सब्जेक्ट अदर लैंग्वेजेस विल बिकम वेरी इजी फॉर दैम सो दिस इज टू माई बेस्ट मदर टंग इन्फ्लुएंस को Uh, जितना जल्द uh, कम कर सके एंड इफ वी कैन गो मोर इनटू न्यूट्रल एक्सेंट द रीडिंग इज द मेन टूल फॉर दैट सो मिस्टर मनीष व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट लिसनिंग स्पीकिंग रीडिंग एंड राइटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ पेरेंट्स आर देमसेल्व्स नॉट इंग्लिश स्पीकर्स तो उनको क्या करना चाहिए फॉर कल्टीवेटिंग लिसनिंग एंड स्पीकिंग इन देयर चिल्ड्रन so uh, i would again repeat agar listening ka hai to hum jaise bolenge hamara pronunciation har ek ka differ karega maybe what we speak uh, in in within the family in our neighborhood when the students go back to schools it's not only the teachers because teachers will try maybe a mentor like you and many of the principals also maybe here and even parents so sabka wo differ karega so the first thing is in case if they read something it has to be read aloud so that is one thing where they should correct in case if a parent is there or a teacher is there to rectify there are many tools where they can record they can uh, again listen to what they have done and in case if there is not the right way uh, the pronunciation if there has to be a correction in it so that is the fun, first thing they should not straight up jump into writing 
that would that would be the uh, most sincere advice i would give it has to be reading first and unless until a child is familiar with what reading is last will come writing or something because writing is something what you have gathered in your mind that is something you are going to put a download on the writing part so that is my uh, submission to your question absolutely aapka ek point bahut hi important tha ke you have to understand that there is a flow when it comes to learning any language and we have to give importance to each step i would suggest to parents who are themselves not english speakers that uh, mr chandar also has a product which kind of uh, corrects uh, the pronunciation corrects the way the child is speaking etc right mr chandar aapka mic off yeah yeah absolutely the product definitely takes care of uh, the pronunciations and see ma'am what happens is english and our all our vernacular languages have got one big difference in uh, in our all our languages whether it's hindi or whether it's gujarati whatever we speak we write and what we write we speak now english has got different pronunciation for each letter there may be one or two or more pronunciation for each sound we can write in two ways say for example color we can write c o l o u r in america they may write c o l o r right so both the ways so pronunciation we follow the queens method the rest of the world in the internet many a time follows the american method so there is always an issue even when we write center somebody writes t r somebody writes r e but the yeah. pronunciation is same the application is different so coming down to the basics as far as preschool is concerned we always say ke bacche ko aap if i take a simple example ke aapne nike ka shoes de diya to wo daud nahi sakega daudna uska internal capability not the nike ka shoe right <laughs> so at the preschool age the ability of the child to read is more important than providing lot of study material what the parents try and do is they think ke maine usko 10 kitab leke de di to wo pad lega no the child doesn't have a capacity at this age right at least till the time the child has reached senior kg the child needs a lot of hand holding the child needs to know a lot of meanings of the word and there has to be a method to make this so what we have done is say for example in our first story book we have created a small story i have taken a print out just to help out the people who are seeing us on this webinar this story book is tell me what is there on the screen i just kept a print out ready for them because when i bring the screen in front of them it becomes a little odd so if i just read out this story it it might take 1 minute to me now in sure. this story, we have got there are word families as we teach a p a n and in this way we progressively teach each word family to the child and the first story is pen naps right i'll just see read it out in front of you so pen is our character and he is taking a nap so whatever is the character and whatever he is doing there are images on it so one we say pen and then we say pen nap then we say nap pen so there is an image he is still sleeping then there is a tap sound right so the bird is tapping on the tree then we once again say tap tap right and then we see some what we say juice falling out from the tree right when we go to a hindi medium school hum bolte hain jhar se lasa gir raha hai right so that also we try and pronounce them so sap is on pen for an english medium child it will be sap is on pen now if you see the entire story then it is tap 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 pen is in a sap right and then pen takes a bath so there is just pen written and we show him taking a bath and we say nap pen nap now this is the flow of story it's a single one line or a two line story short story the best part of it we use only the word smap and tfil and there were sight words in in on and is and also when the child is doing the on the screen there is a blending sound coming in right so that is also when when we take a next question comes to me i'll show the screen version of how the blending of individual letter sound takes and the child is able to pronounce the word sound and okay. with the word sounds you will put it together and make a sentence and when the sentence is you will make a story book for neeraj and manish <laughs> <laughs> that is fantastic very fantastic uh you know at jumbo kids also we follow a very very integrated uh, uh flow based approach where reading is concerned we start with listening we start with speaking we start with glendomen reading glendomen reading is uh, where children understand the shape of words you know uh, we also have a lot of activities like parents here were asking ke nursery ke bachcho ko reading kaise sikhai jaye to simple cheez se aapko sikhani hai unko reading 
नंबर वन इज आपके घर में जितनी भी चीजें हैं उसको लेबल कीजिए इंग्लिश में सो चेयर वेन द चाइल्ड कीप सीन दीज रेपिटेटिव वर्ड चेयर टेबल स्पून कबर्ड तो हम क्लासरूम में भी यही करते हैं हम चीजों को लेबल करते हैं सो द चाइल्ड सीज अ लॉट ऑफ इंग्लिश अराउंड इन इन इंडिया एनवायरमेंट नंबर टू वो भी इंग्लिश न्यूज पेपर आपके घर में आता है उसमें एक एक लेटर चूज कीजिए हर रोज और बच्चे को बोलिए जितने भी आपको लेटर सी दिख रहे हैं उसको सर्कल करो सो द चाइल्ड वेरी सुन स्टार्ट आइडेंटिफाइंग लेटर्स इवन वेन यू आर इन द कार Uh, let the child learn to recognize these letters in the environment there are so many children who see signs you know of uh, mcdonalds or uh, uh, road signs aur wo identify kar lete hain letters ko kyunki us us tarah ki games hum school mein sikhate hain unko uh, the next thing that they can do is uh, uh, when we talk our teachers talk to children uh, when they come to school in play school and nursery we speak in hindi but we repeat it in english so the teacher will say aap sab log idhar aao baitho please sit down <coughs> so the child is learning both uh, his understanding ke iska jo translation hai wo english mein aisa sound karta hai so language is not something that you can say chalo abhi mere baad bolo bat bat pan pan aise nahi sikhaya jata hai aapne mother tongue kaise seekhi आपने मदर टंग ऐसे सीखी क्योंकि कोई आपके साथ उसमें बातचीत करता था सो इट्स द सेम थिंग विथ इंग्लिश सो पेरेंट्स आर मोर नर्वस अबाउट इंग्लिश व्हेन दे देम आर नॉट एबल टू स्पीक इन इंग्लिश सो इट इज एट दैट टाइम दैट दैट्स माय वेरी कंसिडरेट हस्बैंड व्हिच इज ब्रॉड ग्लास ऑफ वॉटर फॉर मी एंड ही सेम पानी पियो हैव वॉटर so so he is also so, listening to you <laughs> yeah yeah he listens to everything because then he will correct me especially my hindi but uh, one of the webinars sir should join us because he must have listened to almost 100 webinars i know i told him we'll let's do a webinar together aap mera interview lijiye main aapka interview lungi it will be very entertaining for the world so coming back to reading uh, children must see you reading uh, especially i'm saying this to o families ke liye bol rahi hu जिनको इंग्लिश खुद को नहीं आता है और बच्चे इंग्लिश मीडियम स्कूल में हैं, आप अपनी नर्वसनेस और घबराहट अपने बच्चों पर मत डालिए कि हाँ इंग्लिश तो इज अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट लैंग्वेज ये मत डालिए जो भी बच्चा क्लास में आया सीख के उसको कहिए आपको सिखाने को बिकॉज इवन द लिटलेस्ट चिल्ड्रेन लव टू टीच अदर्स सो इस तरह से अगर मस्ती मजाक में आप सीख जाओगे बच्चों के साथ तो बच्चों को भी रुचि बनी रहेगी us language ko learn karne mein so this is these are some of the pointers that we do at podar jumbo kids and it has helped us a lot i am now going to show you something uh, and uh, you all are going to tell me if you can read this okay uh, can you read what i have written Any guesses what I have written? आप पढ़ सकते हो इसको आप तो पढ़े लिखे लोग हो कितनी अच्छी हैंड राइटिंग है ना <laughs> है ना हैंड राइटिंग कितनी अच्छी है देखो मैंने दस दस बार लिखी थी और हैंड राइटिंग देखो मेरी कितनी अच्छी हो गई अब आप मुझे पूछिए ये क्या लिखा है मैं क्या लिखा है मुझे नहीं पता <laughs> मुझे बस लिखना आता है <laughs> this is the state of our children today in schools we give them right things because aur unko jo hum likhate hain english mein wo aisa lagta hai this is what it looks like to them they are writing l they are writing r they are writing p but we are making them write before they can read they don't know how to read these letters they don't know what they are writing but sadly in our country parents are more focused on writing writing aap kitna bhi reading kara lo parents bolenge likhna kab shuru karoge likhna kab shuru karoge likhna tab shuru karenge jab bachcho ko wo read karna aayega to wo khud ba khud likhega because children are very fond of imitation so when they will see the design to a child your a b c d looks like this this is what it looks like to your child This is how unknown it looks like to your child. 
And when your child will first be able to read, if I now tell you, this is called S A N D, sand. Now, next time I show you, you may find some familiarity with it. And that is the importance of reading. And that is why, as a, as a brand, also, Podar Jumbo Kids is very against teaching reading as the first step of English learning. So, my next question comes to you, all three of you is that uh, why should children learn to read before they write? And how would you explain the importance of writing later to parents? So who would like to start with this? Yeah, uh, for once, let me take a start. Every time I can't yes, ask please. Neeraj. Yes, please. Chandarji, aap shuru kijiye. So, see, writing is once again manifestation of what you have thought and you are putting on a piece of paper, right? right? Writing is not dynamic in nature, right? What you write, it's something that anybody can read. Now, the, the thing is uh, why reading is important. And uh, I always give an example to parents or to teachers that many a times outside the school, we have got a security wala. Who bolta hai, sir, mein pada likha nahi hu. Wo pada likha nahi hai, lekin puri hindi bol leta hai, puri hindi sun leta hai, pura sab samaj leta hai. To likhne ka samajne bolne se koi matlab nahi hai. You will find a lot of businessmen. Dhirubhai Ammar is one of the best example. He never went to an MBA institute, but the world's MBA students were there in his industry, right? So writing and doing is... Uh, Thinking are two different things. At the early age, if we are talking for the children in the age group of three, four, and five, one more example, children who have a mother tongue apart from English, they learn their mother tongue without going to a school. I have never seen a child, two-year-old, going to learn Marathi in a uh, preschool, right? We don't teach Marathi in the preschool, but the child is able to speak, able to communicate. So communication is one thing. Once I am able to communicate, this is one of the reasons children are not able to write in their own thought processes and they go, go for a rote mechanism where that Asar report is hitting us very strongly. Because of rote, as Neeraj said, it's not in English. Even science, even in social studies, the child will go and ratapai. And whenever he goes for rote, he's not able to move ahead of his uh, peers in the classroom. So that's where I think yeah, it will make an impact. If the child is able to read first, and then write. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Chandra. That was very important. I love your example of the security guard that uh, uh, we may not know how to read or write, but speaking is our first step towards understanding and learning a language. And that's what they are able to. They are able to listen and understand. And then they try to make an attempt to speak. And once you do that, you'll be able to read. And naturally, later on, you'll be able to write. Neeraj, what about you? Uh, writing, so, how do we explain this to parents? So, what a simple explain to parents is that there are important functions in the education system. And that is comprehension, communication, and computing. If these three important functions are there, now we have to computing to obviously is, the, is, is something that will come later. Comprehension and communication. Dono bina writing ke ho sakte hai, but writing in dono ke bina nahi ho sakte. Very well said, Neeraj. Very well Thank said. You. Really. Thank you. Very so well that said. That is what my point is, you know, because ekbar comprehension or communication humne target kar li, writing is so easy to get because usme na comprehend karna hai, na kuch likhna hai mere ko, jo ki mein ekbar mujhe aata hai, to likhne mein problem nahi aegi. But if I have to write, but I don't know what to write, what to write, what to write. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very well. And that's Very why good. I would say reading is the most important because reading is a comprehension. I will do communication from comprehension. When I start to communicate, it will come later. Very well. Very well. Thank you, Neeraj. Thank you, Neeraj. There is a lot of communication right now going on about French. So to those who are having that communication, let me tell you, this webinar is for early years. So we are not discussing standard seventh and French. Uh, I, I come to Mr. Manish. Mr. Manish, what would you say about writing and why is it important for children to read for it? Uh, am I audible? Hello? Yeah, you're yes. audible. 
yeah so the thing is when you read you understand when you understand then you will go into the deep of it ki uska matlab kya hai wo likhte kya hai uska meaning kya hai to usse aur do factor i would like to add to what neeraj uh, said is one is grammar and second is spelling that is that is also two things which will get covered vanna seedha log likhna lag jate hain i completely second him i completely agree with what he has said but grammar as well as spelling is equally important and people actually lack there is no need of actually uh, uh, having books and resources for spelling agar aapne reading theek tarah se kiya hai to usme cover hota hai number 2 point to the parents is parents hum log sab abhi reading ki baat kar rahe hain directly indirectly with other subjects as well and now there are many resources including of arts and many other publications also uh, do do address that that is maths hum jab nursery junior senior mein maths sikhate hain unko bolte hain total kya hua sum kya hua ya indirectly directly so students actually get to know so many words so vocabulary learned agar aap last mein dekho to wo pad rahe the maths लेकिन उन्होंने पढ़ लिया साथ में वोकेबलरी वोकेबलरी सो द इंसिस्ट व्हाट वी नीड टू बी एंड आई थिंक फर्दर गोइंग मोर इनटू वेटर्स विद न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी वेयर गवर्नमेंट इज नाउ एड्रेसिंग द अर्ली चाइल्डहुड सेक्टर एज वेल आई एम श्योर कि उसको स्ट्रक्चर्ड बनाएंगे द अप्रोच इम्पैक्ट किसके ऊपर या तो किसके ऊपर ज्यादा स्ट्रेस देना चाहिए कितना लेसन uh, प्लानिंग टीचर्स के लिए भी एक होगा अभी एक स्ट्रक्चर्ड कुछ नहीं चल रहा है जो हमारे एकेडमिक सिनेरियो है आप टीचर्स को आप जैसे सिलेबस है सीबीएसई का एक सिलेबस है आईसीएसई का है प्री प्राइमरी का एक्सेप्ट ईसीए व्हाट यू ऑल आर ड्राइविंग बट आई डोंट थिंक सो फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट साइड वी हैव अ स्ट्रक्चर्ड अप्रोच तो व्हेन वी हैव दैट स्ट्रक्चर्ड अप्रोच वेयर वी हैव द मैनुअल रेडी फॉर द स्कूल्स फॉर द टीचर्स एंड इन टर्न जो पेरेंट्स को भी उससे बेनिफिट होगा तो आई थिंक रीडिंग की इम्पोर्टेंस की जागरूकता और बढ़ेगी तब इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर पेरेंट्स टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट देर इज अ प्रॉपर सीक्वेंस इन द टीचिंग ऑफ एनी लैंग्वेज एक्सेप्ट योर मदर टंग uh and uh, because it's an unknown language it is very important that we start from uh, something that the children can understand before we move on to more difficult aspects of that language like you can't start with grammar first but you can start with spellings you know so that is what is very important for parents to understand there are a lot of parents who say mera bachcha padhta nahi hai my child uh, doesn't understand what he is reading and that is where where mr chander was telling us that he will show us something uh, on his uh, uh, product uh, uh, go ahead mr chander i am just doing a slight demonstration i don't know how the screen would be uh, audible yeah, so see. here we have here we have got individual letter sound so when the child clicks on the letter he or she gets to listen to the letter sound and there is a slider given at the bottom where the child child when he moves in at his own speed the letter sounds get together and a word sound is created in this way he will be just progressing ahead so the way we begin with each story is first we give all the words which are important in the story to the child once he has done that then we take him to the next level where he would be and this is compulsory for a child to do if he doesn't do this activity he doesn't go ahead and once he does this he goes to the actual story so here also we teach the left to right directionality to the child that's very important because small children they don't know how to read from left to right right so here we teach him left to right directionality if he has not understood the word he can click again the the computer or the machine or the mobile or any ui will repeat and he will be progressing ahead when the Absolutely. child wants to it, when the child wants to blend it he can blend it also so he can do it continuously so in this way a complete story will go with every word family one by one so very nice yeah. very nice uh, so, mr meeraj do you have uh, because i think we are now running out of time i didn't realize also that we've already completed uh, quite a lo long session uh, it was it went so smoothly talking to all of you so i'm going to quickly ask my last question uh, which is if you can give one or two examples that parents can do at home for reading uh, neeraj let's start with you so mera sabse pehla example hoga read aloud 
रीडिंग के लिए सबसे पहली चीज जो आप कर सकते हैं वो रीड अलाउड कर सकते हैं और रीड अलाउड की कोई एज नहीं होती एज ए सेट वी डिड अ रिपोर्ट चंद्र वॉज रेफरिंग टू दसर रिपोर्ट और एसर रिपोर्ट वॉट एवर इट इज कॉल्ड we did a kids and family reading report uh, which came out with its own set of findings the good thing about that is i always compare it to a, a recipe if i have to bake a cake i need the list of ingredients and then i do it as the recipe says and i'll end up with a cake now that my cake could be different than swati's cake but the point is i need to know the ingredients and i need to follow a sequence this report actually does that and that's where it's starting off from read aloud और रीड अलाउड इसलिए भी जरूरी है स्वाति यू मेंशन राइट दैट यू नो फॉर आर मदर टंग हम कहानियां सुनाते थे हाँ. आज क्या हो गया कि ज्वाइंट फैमिली स्ट्रक्चर है नहीं कहानी सुनाने वाले बचे नहीं तो मदर टंग के लिए भी कहानी सुनाने वाला कोई नहीं और इंग्लिश के लिए तो है ही नहीं और सबसे बड़ी चीज जो रिपोर्ट से निकल गई वो ये था कि रीड अलाउड के लिए कोई एज नहीं है जब बच्चा इंडिपेंडेंट रीडर बन जाता है तब भी वो रीड अलाउड को प्रेफर करता है क्यों क्योंकि वो एक स्पेशल टाइम होता है पेरेंट के साथ so engagement is the important and buzzword here you can engage with your child absolutely so read aloud kijiye kitabein ghar mein rakhiye aap khud padhte hue dikhiye aur aap unke sath padhiye agar aap ye sab karenge reading aa jayegi dusri ek important jagah jahan hum kai bar galat chal jate hain as parents as schools hum unko batana chahte hain ki wo kya padhe hamare liye zaruri ye hai ki wo padhe क्या पढ़े वो बाद में भी आ सकता है अगर वो अपनी मर्जी की किताब पढ़ना चाहते हैं उनको पढ़ने दीजिए जब वो पढ़ना शुरू कर देंगे तो क्या पढ़े और कैसे पढ़े डिजिटल डिवाइस पे पढ़े कि प्रिंट बुक में पढ़े हम उन झगड़ों में ज्यादा पढ़ जाते हैं जो बाद की चीज है पहली चीज है पढ़ना और अगर वो करा देंगे तो सब कुछ हो जाएगा ये बिल्कुल अपॉर्चुन टाइम है आपके लिए आपको खुद नहीं समझ में आ रहा होगा बच्चों के साथ क्या करें तो किताबें उठा के किताबें पढ़िए रीडिंग हैबिट आप नहीं मानेंगे मेरी बात कि ऑटोमेटिकली बिल्ड हो जाएगा कोई भी चीज जो हम 20 दिन लगातार करते हैं वो हमारी हैबिट बन जाती है राइट एब्सोल्युटली लॉकडाउन ने हमें ये समय दे दिया है अगर हम 20 दिन पढ़ेंगे तो पढ़ाने पढ़ने की आदत बन जाएगी एब्सोल्युटली और मैं और एक बात बिफोर आई गो टू मिस्टर मनीष आई वुड लाइक टू से टू पेरेंट्स इज के इन सब जमेलों में मत पढ़िए के हाउ लॉन्ग शुड माय चाइल्ड रीड और व्हाट शुड माय चाइल्ड रीड reading is a habit it becomes a hobby first a hobby is something that interests you jaise hi aapko interest aa jayega fir aap rok hi nahi paoge bachcho ko read karne se in fact aapko bolna padega ab reading band karo to aap ye isse mat shuru kijiye ki kitna padhna chahiye and all that you know don't make it into a chore ek 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 bojh mat banaiye aap bachcho ke liye then children will love to read So, Mr. Manish, आपके what are your uh, examples that you can give to parents? First of all, I must say कि आप तीनों के जो products हैं actually fall into place in such a way कि schools and parents should take all three because Chandar's product starts with the sounds and the uh, reading words. Then you have uh, Mr. Manish's uh, product which has reading readiness activities, writing readiness activities, and you have Scholastic which also links reading books. two science activities and maths activities so i really love the way the three products are actually falling into place where i feel it could make the whole curriculum of a school uh, yes mr manish thank you so the thing is don't make a compulsion padhna hai padhna hai that's and i am giving you my own uh, uh, example or something which i have actually implemented number 2 is ek hygiene banana hai कि जैसे हम बोलते हैं कि खाने का टाइम जनरली हमारा फिक्स रहता है आधा एक घंटा ऊपर नीचे इनके सिर्फ वी क्रिएट दैट हाइजीन कि सवेरे सात से साढ़े सात या साढ़े सात से आठ डिपेंडिंग ऑन हाउ आर कैलेंडर इज इफ वी हैव दैट कैलेंडर फिक्स वेर इन वी हैव अ रीडिंग कॉर्नर क्योंकि जब बच्चों को हम पार्क में लेके जाए और अगर पार्क के अंदर इक्विपमेंट्स नहीं हो या तो सेम वे इफिक गो टू अ जिम एंड देर आर नो एक्सरसाइज इक्विपमेंट्स और इन अ टेम्पल लाइक एक रीडिंग कॉर्नर अगर घर में है and we know the kids or their age group accordingly aapne agar wo these are the essence agar aapne wahan par wo cheeze rakhi hai even if you are reading a newspaper which may be very too high for a, a, a child who may be at age 5 or 6 aapne uske hisab se kuch rakha usko apne aap wo badhega curiosity aayega ki ye log pad rahe hain main bhi padhu ek hygiene develop karna bahut zaruri hai so i would strongly recommend uh, not on 
कि यही प्रोडक्ट या डिजिटल या ब्लेंड ऑफ डिजिटल एंड प्रिंट और और वट एवर इट इज बट उनके अंदर वो जागरूकता अगर लाएंगे फिर उनकी क्यूरियोसिटी जागेगी वो पूछेंगे आपको कि ये जो मैं किताब पढ़ रहा हूँ इसका मीनिंग क्या होता है उसका मीनिंग क्या होता है मोस्ट ऑफ द बुक्स दे ऑल्सो हैव ग्लॉसरी ग्लॉसरी विल गिव देम एन आइडिया तो उससे भी उनको हेल्प मिलेगी तो मेरे को जो सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट लग रहा है इट हैज टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम आस दैट इज द पेरेंट्स और अगर हमने अगर बच्चों को किताबों तक या रीडिंग तक हमने उनको लेके गए तो आई डोंट थिंक सो देर आफ्टर एनी वन इज गोइंग टू स्टॉप दैम एप्सोलूटली very well said ke hygiene hona chahiye uh, because i saw a question from a mother that my child reads but is not able to recognize or name the letter while reading so some children will read by sounding out the sounds like b at a bat but some children will just go straight to reading so whichever is the reading style that your child has picked up don't correct the child as long as the child is reading correctly so it's very very important because many children are not able to break the word before reading it because i just it, add the, sorry yeah uh, yeah i just wanted to add because i think this is also equally important and this is may not be it's not a promotion or something and not for parents i would say but for the schools what we did is uh pehle bhi hamare super safari aur wo readers the lekin jo cambridge reading adventures mein what we added new is pre reading ke liye teacher ko humne kuch diya एंड पोस्ट रीडिंग का असेसमेंट इट्स नॉट टू एसेस अ चाइल्ड कि ये फेल हो गया पास हो गया बट प्री रीडिंग में जरूरी क्या होता है से फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी ऑल लाइक वी आर फ्रॉम इंडिया ऑल ऑफ अस बट से फॉर एग्जाम आई एम फ्रॉम मुंबई एंड आई एम बेस्ड आउट ऑफ मुंबई अगर मेरा बच्चा जो चार साल का है उसको मेरे को बताना है कि टॉपिक है स्नोफॉल क्या होता है तो हाउ विल अ चाइल्ड नो अबाउट वॉट स्नोफॉल इज और मे बी डेजर्ट क्या होता है तो विथ दैट प्री रीडिंग बुक में a teacher or a parent can create that environment because that is also equally important jahan bacche ko mind with nowadays you have google youtube and so many digital things to agar wo jo cheez hum bacche ko padha rahe hain uska ek environment uske samne hai to bacche ke reading ke andar ruchi aur bad jayegi and i think he will so much get engrossed into reading that he will start loving uh, what he is doing we have completely overshot our time and i absolutely don't mind it <laughs> not with the panelists <laughs> but i would have to end here and i think what stems out of this whole conversation is that we should have as soon as lockdown and schools open we should have a parenting seminar only on reading for the parents where actual examples and actual demonstrations can be given to them and of course if lockdown continues or if schools take a lock a long time to open we can plan a more detailed webinar just for parents to understand the steps of learning to read but as i end i would like each one of you to please name your products once again for the panelists because they are all very interested in that So Aniraj what are your products that you will recommend for early years uh one is called bookflix bookflix like the netflix and uh, it is uh, available on our uh, scholastic india facebook page you can get all the information about this and all the other products the other one is sunshine primary reading club so again i will repeat please log on to scholastic india facebook page you will find much more details about whatever we have spoken about and on scholastic india website you will find this reading report that i was talking about it's available as a free download great uh, chandar can you tell us the names of your products please so maybe yeah, i just like to add to what neeraj has said the read aloud using square tales it reads aloud aloud to a child one second we it has got lot of activities with the parents want on the square tales dot in website we have created small small activities a list of activities nursery rhymes singing things doing drawing and all those stuffs which can be done by a child and my system is squaretales.in it is available on ios it is available on android so any device you have and we have got one miss call number if the parents can jot down it is one yeah, eight... i i saw you have typed it in so yeah. i'm sure they'll yeah. be able to take that okay. yeah that was the only uh, comment Thanks. Mr. Manish, uh, please tell us the name. You also typed the name, but can you also yes. tell us the name of your? Yeah, product? I'll repeat. I'll repeat. It's Cambridge Reading Adventures. You can visit our website, and in case if uh, you don't get the uh, the book or something, you can write to us. Uh, there is a box there, and we will get back to you. 
you can check on amazon or uh, with the nearest bookseller as well but uh, still in case if you have any difficulty aap uh, likhiye and uh, we'll be more than happy uh, myself and my team to address that perfect so mr manish has already typed it once and so i i request all the panel uh, the audience to go through all the comments and uh, this recording will be available on eca facebook page on jumbo kids facebook page and on i think uh, square uh, panda pay facebook page also uh, yes. we can also send you the link so scholastic can also put it on yes, there yes we can also put it up there yes and i can send it to you also so cambridge uh, reading can also put it there but i must thank the three of you it was an extremely extremely informative session uh, i think it gave a lot of information to parents uh, about uh, the importance of reading and uh, i hope uh, that this example of mine has gone through to the parents that uh, please don't make writing uh, such a difficult aspect for children and don't start the english language with writing when mirror reading is concerned if actually the mirror writing is a stage that all children go through there's nothing to be worried about uh, so i would urge all of you panelists uh, to please uh, type your product name once more so that everybody gets it because uh, i think there's going to be a rush for the three companies scholastic <laughs> cambridge university press and square panda uh, thank you so much to all three of you to neeraj from uh, scholastic to mr manish from cambridge university press and to mr chandar from square panda which i like the square tails more so i am going to say square tails and um, uh, thank you for uh, being such brilliant panelists and i don't know if people have noticed it but this was for the first time an all male panel usually <laughs> it is an all female panel and everything to do with education is always an all female panel this was an all male panel and uh, uh, it was amazing that here we have three men Uh, from three different countries uh, 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 companies talking about reading and its importance so thank you for being with us uh, here uh, farida over to you uh yes so i'm back to just uh, say a thank you to swati ma'am and all the panelists for this impactful contribution of yours i'm sure parents have taken back a lot of insights on the uh, importance of reading in the early years so thank you Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Swati ma'am. Thank you. Okay.